<laughs> I love the new intro. Oh, well, thanks so much. Oh my gosh, that was so fun to put together. First. Hi, everybody. It's Saturday night. Welcome back to Justin and Michelle. Yes, welcome. We are so happy to have you here tonight. We have a really special show for you guys tonight about something we kind of run into quite a bit out in the wild. Mm -hmm. um, I had a moment with uh, these um, Starbucks mugs <laughs> and tumblers, and yes. we thought that we would share with you what we learned um, when Michelle came home with a whole bunch of Starbucks mugs and tumblers <laughs> <laughs> yeah um so i mean yes you're right we see these all the time on the wild we see shelves and shelves of them sitting in just about every thrift store and i mean some thrift stores are even giving them away i remember we went to one that they're just like the coffee mugs here are free basically <laughs> and you know we dug through them of course hey yeah. but we only like took like two of them yeah because why have you know like clog up our space and time with bunch of glass things that aren't going to sell so true <laughs> so what we uh did you know we do our research on them we saw a couple of starbucks ones and just decided to grab them and you brought a bunch home one day uh when you're outsourcing and <laughs> by myself which is why i did go ahead yeah i know but no, it's great <laughs> because you know there's like eight or so here to like look through it gave us the opportunity and yeah the, uh, thing to, to start learning about that yeah it gave us the idea to have the show tonight so you guys can you know take a quick peek at a couple of things that you know maybe you'll recognize some stuff here so let's get right into it yeah because um yeah i mean we got our uh start we're drinking some uh non-caffeinated tea because it's 8 p.m here in our starbucks mugs these ones we actually use personally yeah. Um, right here is a holiday collection one. I don't recommend picking up these holiday ones as much. Um, this one here is probably worth eight dollars, maybe ten plus shipping. And Michelle, you got this really cool one that you found, New Jersey. I think yeah. we actually found that for free on the side of the road. We did, we did. and at the bottom of it said, uh, "You are here." Yes, that's the type of collection that it is. So um, the You Are Here collection has different states. It has different um, cities and things like that. Different countries, actually. Mm -hmm. even. Yeah. Yeah. And so and some of these can be really good. And I'll show you some comps on how good some of these can really be, actually. But, you know, these these general ones, you know, from New Jersey, the states ones. Um, this one in particular right here is worth about $15, uh, 10 to $15 plus shipping. So not the greatest. Um, and I, I feel that's still bougie, though. You know, it's not. I mean, honestly, it's not bad. But the one thing we also have to keep in mind here when we're selling these Starbucks mugs is that the sell-through rate is only about 1 in 10. <laughs> it's only about 10%. So keep that in mind. That's a really big factor in wanting to sell these. Um, not the greatest sell-through rate. But there are some that when they do sell, they're certainly worth uh, having sit around, you know, bubble wrapped and, you know, sitting somewhere taking up space because they are worth some big money. Yes, they are. Um, and we'll get into that. Uh, we'll show you a bunch of comps on the awesome ones. But let's uh, show you a few things that Michelle had picked up and uh, just about how much they're worth. You know, it kind of give you an idea. You know, we have these really simple ones, right? Just the white. Sorry, this is pretty bleached out. But this is simple. It just has a regular, it doesn't even have the Siren uh, logo on it, right? Mm -hmm. So it just says Starbucks coffee. People still like this. They're classic coffee mugs. It's just white. It's just a Starbucks barista. This is a vintage one, 2001. Oh, that's cool. Um, and so when you're researching these, there's a few things you want to look for, right? Um, one that is usually on every Starbucks mug is the year. So that type in the year when you're researching it, that's going to narrow down the field. Big time. Big time. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Big time. Um, also, you want to, they also have the ounces usually on the mugs. Um, put that in there. That's also going to narrow down the search. Also, uh, what uh, collections are from? This one's Barista. Put whatever keywords you can find on there. If it's just the Siren logo, put that on there. If it's, you know, white, black, brown, whatever you find, type in those keywords, find the exact match, and make sure you're going to find one that's actually going to sell. I love the way they feel. They have such a nice weight to them. You know, a good coffee cup, a mm -hmm. really good one. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, you can tell that, you know, 
whoever they use for their manufacturer over the years, you yeah. know, is it's it's good quality stuff. Too. Yeah. Um, not to mention just collectible. You know, everybody, almost everybody drinks coffee and tea, you know, just about everybody. So, yeah, and tis the season, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of places are getting ready to have snow and rain and all that stuff. So, mm -hmm. Bray got the hot chocolate and the hot cocoa <laughs> and the tea and all yes. that other good stuff, coffee, anything warm. <laughs> and you need your coffee mug too. I Enjoy do. It. Coffee mug is making me happy. I have like my favorite one <laughs> with stars and it's in it and you have to hand wash it or else it gets kind of wonky on you. But yeah, everybody has their favorite mugs. I everybody, do. <laughs> you know, likes to collect them, you know, or you know, some people have big collections or can't get rid of them. One of the two. So that's why you see tons of coffee mugs in every thrift store. So you want to know what to look for because some of them it's can bring some good money. Fun looking through them. Yeah. I mean, it's <laughs> just the subject matter, you know, they're, advertising or whatever it may be but here's another plain one it's actually pretty cool it's got a raised um logo you, you really can't see it i'm so yeah. sorry we're we were trying to adjust the lighting here but yeah it's hard um it's a raised logo on there and this one also it's got a sort of green interior which is pretty cool just a plain mug though um we we're able to research it by the date and all that with green interior okay. to find that it's worth you know like uh ten dollars plus shipping or so yeah so not the greatest one to pick up but at you know free to a dollar we learned about it you know it should probably sell and so let's see what else we have here we have was that jonathan adler yeah this one was so pretty you guys and you know i get sucked into that kind of stuff but mm -hmm. check out i'm sorry i don't care if it goes for 50 cents this is i think this is freaking really cute <laughs> Yeah, it is Jonathan Adler for if, um, Starbucks. There's all these cute little paisleys and little peace signs and all kinds of stuff. It has like little red engraving here on it. I just love it. I yeah. love it. I love it. Yeah, it's really cool. It's, I don't know. It's really like heavy. It's got a good feel to it. And it's this, cute. yeah, this one exact one sells uh, for about fifteen dollars, also as well plus shipping. So. Um, a decent one to look out for you know just look them up this one says jonathan adler really easy to research that's all you really have to type in Starbucks. it's so pretty too it really is it is yeah you'd think maybe that one might be worth a little bit more but it's maybe just a little more mass produced it's a little more common so it's just it's so weird because some of the starbucks mugs are so pretty and it's just like I mean, you know, I I, I I mean, I know how to source in other ways, but I do love shiny things and pretty things. So, uh, yeah, which one are we, where are we going from here? Oh, sure. So another sort of shiny and pretty one. Yeah. <laughs> right here, the good old stainless steel tumbler. Uh, this one I might actually keep because I like to keep my coffee warm. This is not a good one for travel. I don't think this would fit in your car holder thing no but, but maybe camp for home or camping even camping. like you know being out outdoors at the campsite and yeah. having like yeah it's just not a car travel mug i love sure. this one let's keep this one. camping i will gladly use that okay <laughs> yay i'll put this over Perfect. here awesome. <laughs> good deal um so and that one's actually worth uh consistently a good 20 bucks as well plus shipping so and you would think it would go for so much more because it's stainless steel well i don't right? know Perhaps there's a taller one, a taller stainless steel uh, one that would fit in a car. It's got like the travel size uh, bottom and everything like that. That goes for like 40 bucks or something like that. Really? Yeah. So look at this. Look for that stainless steel. I think that one goes for more probably because it's portable. <gasps> All right. Can I show the next Yeah. Two, let's please? see these next couple here because they're really neat looking. Okay. So when I saw these, I automatically was like, I hit the jackpot. I, that's what I thought. You would think so. Uh, they're yeah. so cool. Check these out. Okay, they have um, two faces on them, and they look like very um, like artists. There's a yeah, almost like one. a Picasso rendition of the siren logo. Yeah, here's the <laughs> siren's face. I think right here, actually, to be cool. Look at that. Yeah. Hey, I never noticed that. Yeah. So anyways, I found both of them and I think, oh, they're so chic. They would look so great on the table next to each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we did the research on those. Uh, by the year, we were able to find that a little easier. And we found that those are worth around $20 a piece as well, plus shipping. So that's pretty good. I mean, I'll sit on a $20 mug 
you know, for for a while. But yeah. you know, if, if it's getting down to ten bucks and we're gonna sit on it for a, a year or two, I mean, that's where we want to start making decisions. <laughs> <laughs> so also, um, I'd really know the coolest one I think that you found. Yeah. Is the shiniest. Oh well, no, actually, this one I think is the coolest one that you found. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. I think the other one is, but okay, oh, this okay. one's kind of cute. Like, yeah, look at that, Florida. It's got flamingos on it. It's so cute. It's Check nice out the tumbler. little pink top. Uh, the top is pink like the flamingo. It's 12 ounces. Okay. Easy to research. And to find out that this one is also, you'd think this might be a little bit more, right? It's a little more colorful. It's got birds and it's a travel one. But in Florida. Yeah. But in, this one also is only worth about 20, 25 plus shipping. That's what we have this one listed for right now, 25 yeah. bucks. Yeah, that one's actually listed. We got that out of inventory for you guys. Yeah. So, um another cool one you know that's the easy one to spot you know it says florida but we'll show you to definitely look for those travel ones um, this is here the shiny cool. one i was thinking of and this is probably the best out of the bunch that you found that day i know um, Yay. was maybe a little surprising uh that it was the best but i, I actually kind of see why now this is actually a chrome a chrome cup so this is actually a starbucks but, I couldn't believe that it said Starbucks on the bottom of it. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I was I was really excited. <laughs> this is a nice chrome cup here. I think it's pretty rad. Me too. Yeah. Totally. And the cool thing about this is there's only one listed right now for like around forty dollars, and there was only one that has sold in the past three months for, and somebody took an offer of like less than forty eight dollars or something. So this is a really good one yeah good sell through rate and a little bit harder to find yeah so it's kind of ergonomic yeah too. Like it is cool it shape. really is yeah i can see why it's a little more expensive and yeah that's that's just one i mean who would have known that you know that is a 40 dollar cup i could not believe it i swear to you i had all of these in my basket and then i was like well let me just look at this silvery one and i couldn't believe it yeah, yeah. so look for the chrome cups <laughs> um awesome. so those are all of the ones that uh, michelle found on one particular day <laughs> which was pretty awesome to come on with a big old score like that and i'll probably end up listing the rest of these tomorrow just because they're sitting right here in the office right by the picture taking area so <laughs> that's what i'll be listing tomorrow uh fishing that up but okay guys check out some of these comps here yeah on Okay, I mean, this is this is pretty crazy. We wanted to share with you guys some examples of just a bunch of incredible things that have sold, mugs that have sold, um, as well as some mugs that you're going to probably run into more when you're out bopping around, right? Mm, yeah, exactly. So let's look at, okay, we're looking at Starbucks mugs here. That's what we're searching for, Starbucks mug. Now we're also uh, filtering this. It's already filtered to used and we're s sorting this from highest to lowest price. Now you can see that there are 110 results for Starbucks mugs used. And we're going to go and hit sold here. And we're going to see that 12,000 have sold. So that's really the one in 10 sell through rate that, that we were talking about there. Um, that's what you want to be um, careful of. You don't want to be picking up these ten dollars ones because you're gonna sit on forever and then make ten bucks when they do sell. Yeah. So, um, but let's look at these ones I've sold. Look at this one right at top here. Six thousand dollars. Now it's saying that it's a holy grail, meaning to collectors, you know, this is like the grand the poobah. One. Yes, this right. is the one. You know that you want <laughs> that you need in your. Um, completest collection right. right so um 99 bids for six grand so if you see that iwo jima one guys you 99 got... bids for six grand yeah so you got a payday when you see that one coming up um wow yes crazy guys so that's so that's a little more on the uh crazy side but let's look at what is actually also sold as well and what we're seeing right here at six hundred dollars we're seeing these travel ones again yeah right mm -hmm. so this one's from sapporo this one is from guadalajara six hundred dollars guys whoa really yeah really incredible and wait you have to stop yeah, check out this oh, one yes. that's the, the big oversized giant abby <laughs> ceramic jug it's 138 
ounces. Right. It's huge. It's like once you filled it up with coffee, either you would have a heart attack because it's so much caffeine, <laughs> but number two, you probably wouldn't even be able to lift it up. <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, like that's almost like two gallons or something. That's like 16 pounds of water or coffee right there. Not to mention this, like this mug that's like as big as your torso. So, you know, try drinking that. I don't know. I think it's funny. It's probably just some sort of novelty. I don't, I'm not sure if people drink out of it. Probably but, looks super cool in person. Yeah. But wow. You know, like $500. Now, if you see that thing, pick it up, even if they want. It's like this one times, times, like, I don't know how many, right? Yeah. No, it does. It looks like that one too. Yeah. The same style. Same style. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. So look out for that giant Starbucks mugs when you see it. Pick it up. Wow. Um, we're scrolling back down the list in the $400 and $350 range or more of the uh, foreign uh, city uh, travel mugs. Mm -hmm. I noticed when we were doing our research earlier that Tokyo, Tokyo was coming up more frequently than some of the others. And they were it, it's on the high end price here. So you'll see, mm -hmm. I think as we flip through, I saw a couple of them. Yes, Qatar. Uh huh. Oh, um, also right here, this uh, vintage 1978 uh, with the old Siren logo. Uh, we watched a documentary on the uh, how the logo was, you know, started and produced. And this is the old yeah. one, uh, considered a little more risque. Um, yeah, definitely. And, an yeah. interesting, an interesting video that we watched about the company and uh, what it means and the logo and how connected mm -hmm. they are with it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. And so this vintage one with the old logo on it. it's going for 250 bucks that's pretty awesome um so kind of look for that old logo as well yeah um here's another um south africa we got sharja um these are all of these travel ones like um let's see here here is more. i feel like i feel like running into the travel ones wouldn't be as difficult as you know you'd think mm-hmm I would say, um, you know, they're probably easier to spot. Oh, definitely. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Definitely. Um, here are some that are, uh, mm. here are some, excuse me, that are, going, <laughs> that are going, uh, some Star Wars ones, um, Star... Disney parks, Disney park, Star Wars, been there series. Hot. Wow. That's a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, look for some Star Wars ones here. We're still in the $150 range. Check out the one. There's one for Egypt again, and it's the, okay. um, one of the travel tra series. Exactly. The travel series seems to be like where you want to be. Yeah, definitely. Look in uh, for those for sure. Absolutely. Um, what else do we have here? We have some more travel ones. Mostly we're seeing foreign ones that are going for the big bucks here. Um, anyways, uh, Casablanca, and another from egypt 120 portugal 120 best offer yeah um, let's see australia 120 best offer what is it um what's selling for like in the 50 dollars range i'm just curious yeah let's check out that because we're probably gonna probably gonna be seeing more of things like that so let's filter this let's go uh 30 to 75 dollar range let's cool. go right there let's i'd be that. psyched i'd be psyched because that's you know we're maybe gonna be a little more App to finding those ones here. Yeah. So let's not let's look at single ones that have sold in that range. Yeah, let's see. Another one, uh, another global one. We got Panama here for seventy five bucks. Hey, there's the um the the Starbucks barista. This one. Yes. Yeah, um, and it has many um siblings. It looks like it's uh, <laughs> like picture. Yeah, like most of the years, like a collection of the years. That's pretty cool. Maybe yeah. to sell it that way. That That's cool. Would, be a much better way to sell it. Obviously, yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, again, some more travel series ones here. Oxford. I wonder if that's oh England. Okay. Yep, yep, England. So if you're finding these foreign ones, especially, that's what you want to look for. Yeah, and they're almost like they have like a brownish, uh, like cream cast on the outside, and the inside it seems to be blue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if I'm, if I'm remembering right that's a cute little pink one yes uh, <laughs> i've never seen this one it's like a pumpkin style neon hot pink uh, yeah, look for those really breast different cancer, ones breast cancer awareness okay pink. yeah that's what it is yeah awesome yeah so um look for those ones that are just really different like this one <laughs> 71 bucks uh went for some bids 
Mm. A lot see. of these was that are tiles. Um, oh, I'm sorry to interrupt. Oh, I like that one with the lobster. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of these are uh, being sold in lots. There's more than one. Mm -hmm. It's getting like that as we get down into the lower um, price ranges. Yep, and these can be ones that um, oh, the ones are. that are in lots here look like they are from the states, like Alabama, Denver. So like um, more of the United States series are not going to be as pricey as these foreign ones. As the foreign ones. Yeah. Qatar, oh Tokyo. Chimin, Hanoi. Yeah. Yes, very, very cool. So um, as we continue to look down, let's scroll down more near the... Okay, well, anyway. <gasps> That's a cutie patootie. And that one's like from Copenhagen and Denmark, the last mm -hmm. one. Ah, that's cute. Yeah. Let's check out page nine on here. Maybe it's going in for more of the $40. Yep. So we yes. got uh, Disney theme park ones, Mickey Mouse, 40 bucks. The you are here. Um, here was one from Alaska that went for a 40 bucks offer. Uh huh. Um, let's see, what we got oh, I like the one with the cacti, the cactus floral. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. So now we're seeing that you know, we're seeing oh, look at this one with the crown. Uh, siren crown as the the cover there. That's pretty cool. It's different. That's going for about 40 or like 30 plus shipping. So we're also scrolling down here, some more stainless ones here. A pair of them for 40 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. So in, in essence here, look for the ones that are different. You know, the, the subject matter is going to be the key here. Let's look at this one that's like got a sort of like raised or embossed. Well, that's the one that I was talking about. They have a really cool New York City one. And that was it actually. Mm. It, it all was like the black and the white sort of melted together. Mm -hmm. That was the one I was talking about very nice yeah i mean beautiful. some of these just look really great you know they're they're beautiful looking so you would maybe you'll want to look them up and you'll find that's that that's what i would say i mean it's want. so exciting to find them i don't know why i get so excited about it but grab them all find a quiet corner and just you know run them run comps on them and check them out yeah because i mean this these were pretty picked over the good ones i think by the time i had gotten there but i want to diversify my closet and learn so yeah no i mean you picked up a handful of you know 15 to 40 dollar ones so you got them for like a buck so yeah. like literally <laughs> yes very good very good very good deal all right so we're looking at uh, starbucks mugs here yes yes okay so we saw that we're going to want to pick up the ones that are foreign. We're going to want to pick up the ones that are, um, excuse me, uh, that look different, that are, oh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find something here. Okay. We also want to look at uh, tumblers. Uh, tumblers are not mugs, you know, but they're more for travel <laughs> here. And we see um, also used tumblers here. Are going there's 39,000 used Starbucks tumblers available for sale on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> and when we click sold, we're going to see that 4,100 of them have sold in the past three months. So, again, there's that one in, tell, one in 10 sell through rate that you want to be aware of when you're sourcing these because they may sit around for a while. And, like we said before, some of these, if they're worth $300, you're going to want to sit on them, <laughs> you know. Like this right here. Okay, here is a rare Starbucks New York City graffiti. Hard to find tumbler with straw. Ooh. Went for 300 bucks. That's a plastic tumbler. A plastic tumbler, right. Is this, so, this is also considered a tumbler too, right? Yeah, because, but that's like the really thick, heavy porcelain. Yeah, so, yeah. okay, that one has a straw on it. Yep, even these plastic tumblers. Yeah. Look at this Holy one. Uh, this is not the most appetizing uh coffee mug but it's pink and it's got beetles on it i love it <laughs> how much is that one oh somebody, forget it yeah somebody paid 200 dollars for that one no i love it it's so awesome Gee, baby yes, i'm a critter lover isn't that a great one yeah here's another some critter for some critter lovers in delaware found this with the uh, chickens on it and paid 175 bucks for it holy cannoli right yeah there's another one of the pink 
uh, beetle ones. I like those pink beetle ones. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> that are well, awesome. If we find it, I will buy it and sell it on eBay. Just kidding. <laughs> I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. So you cute. I love the pink with, yeah. I like this uh, Starbucks 2014 rattlesnake one, I think. This one's pretty cool. And it's selling for 150 bucks. Huh. Yeah. Who knew? Yeah, consistently the rattlesnake and the rattlesnake and the beetle tumblers are selling for 150 bucks. No way. And here is a travel one, actually. Look at this. Here's some domestic travel ones of California. 125 bucks. And here's a Rhode Island. Oh, I love Rhode Island. The Rhode Island one's super cool. That is cool. It's like a cartoonish. And that's 100 bucks. Here is another one from Boston, 125 plastic wow. tumblers. Yeah, wow, guys, cool. Um, <gasps> Wait, is oh. those the dancing bears? Oh, it's oh, a, I like it. It's the Indy <laughs> five. It's an Indy <laughs> five hundred cars. I'm sorry, I look from <laughs> my new contacts. It looked like bears. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, I I totally hear what you're saying there. Yeah, it does. Now we got. Oh, here's that Florida flamingo. Tumbler, uh, the plastic tumbler looks like it's worth more than the glass tumbler, actually. Um, look at that. Wow, $95. Yeah, cool. Okay, so this is actually pretty cool, guys. We, we see that the tumblers, the domestic tumblers, are better than the domestic mugs, right? So, let's... tumblers meaning plastic tumblers. Well, even the glass ones, too. Ceramic glass ones, too. Yeah, or porcelain, whatever. Yeah. So we're seeing this California one consistently going for around hundred dollars. The snakeskin one, same. Cool. The Utah, look at that. Utah tumblers, eighty-five. So it, you know, you think, okay, this Florida tumbler is cooler than the Utah tumbler, you know, perhaps, you know, to it, it, just in general. I'm not saying. Yeah, aesthetically pleasing. Aesthetically, you right. know, it might be a one that's worth more, but maybe this Utah one only. 100 were made or something you know so it's just good to do your research i do like the font on that utah one it's pretty sweet no it is cool i mean it don't get me wrong um i've never been to utah but i love it i love the i love that too <laughs> so um here's iowa looks like the state fair like iowa state fair, fair is pretty famous along with like the minnesota state fair um the 85 bucks for that one there wow okay so that's pretty cool. And okay, guys, one other thing that we were looking at when we we're doing research for this here is that we actually found that Starbucks ornaments, like Christmas tree ornaments, are also holiday ornaments. Yeah, actually, pretty good to uh, check out as well. Let's check this out. <laughs> <laughs> we were just discussing discussing that we had no idea we even knew anything about them producing holiday ornaments yeah i've never seen one me either <laughs> but i after doing this research i'm going to tell you that i will be looking for them yeah keep your eyes peeled yes we see um okay so back there we were at again i, I filter this you know highest price shipping used starbucks ornaments that's what we're searching for there were 4200 results and we see that sold is only 456 so once again that one in ten selfie <laughs> rate um it's it's very consistent. Keep that in mind. Not the best sell through rate. But look at this here. Eight Starbucks. Uh, you're here. Uh, series ornaments here. Um, 71 bucks with bids. That's like 10 bucks a piece. Um, now we're seeing that some of these. Ornaments. Yeah, just these little mini, mini mugs. <gasps> They're so cute. Oh, my gosh. I've never even. Look how cute that one is for 60 bucks. 2007 yeah. mini snow globe. Yeah, it's a Christmas. Yeah. Adorable. It is absolutely. And somebody so adorable, somebody is paying 60 bucks for it. I, to put it on the Christmas tree once a year. Basically. Yeah. So <laughs> but we have our, our holiday tree up, up all the time. Up all year long because we're always celebrating. Celebrating every moment. Yeah. Whatever it may be. This is true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 
Sure. We'll change the lights whenever we want, but that's another, <laughs> that's another show. Yeah. You are here, Disney, Disney Epcot again. Yeah, Disney Starbucks, definitely take a peek at that if you see that. Yeah, definitely. Wow, you know, and I remember selling a Department Fifty Six Starbucks. You know, everybody loves Department Fifty Six in the winter time. That's another show um, that we'll do, but. Um, Starbucks branded Department 56 sells for a really good money too. That was really great. Um, but that's a different story. Here's some more just little Christmas ornaments that you can pick up, and they're worth like 40 bucks. Like, look at this little whatever I mean, it is. Really like, wow. stinking cute. Really. They sure are. They sure are. They're adorable, but they look like the size of like a thimble. Um, yeah, look at here. Here's the <laughs> here's the, the comparison. Wait, no, that's not even actually it. No, that's a pretty shape, though. Yeah, it is, it is really cool. Um, so, yeah, these little ornaments here. Here's another one, 40 bucks. That was from Japan. Um, what else we got here? Starbucks Club, uh, the three-ounce mug. So keep your eyes open when you guys are out at um, church rummage sales. I The big ones, you know, where they, they have it a couple times a year and everybody donates their stuff. They give away so many mugs. People get rid of mugs left and right. Finding these in the $29, $30, $35 range, it's not uncommon. Sure. Yeah. And now there's these cute little, oh my, wait, go up, go oh, up. Oh. Disney Starbucks ornament with Disney um, parks and looks like sparkles and butterflies. Yeah. 30 bucks. Keep your eyes up, peeled, guys, for these little tiny Starbucks mugs. Um, they're, in general, worth more than the, the regular mugs. And I would much rather source these tiny little things than, you know, like the actual big mugs because they're just so much easier to ship and worth more. So, yes, worth so much more. In a synopsis, honey, what do you think here? Well, I think that. If you run into a bunch of Starbucks mu Starbuck mugs and tumblers, that it's definitely worth sitting down and running comps on them and decide deciding. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. if you're getting them for a dollar a piece, and who knows what your smallest amount you will take, but most of these are going for about fifteen bucks. In general, yes. In general. Yes. There are a couple here, maybe a little bit more. So take your time and check them out. And if you see anything that has says, you know, Tokyo um, uh, and what all the other European places we were discussing. So mm -hmm. and those are not yeah. the most colorful ones either. Mm -hmm. I've noticed they're kind of like boring, but they have just, um, you know... Yeah, the thing is, they're just not available as much as the mass-produced ones here in the United States. Yeah, that's, that's why they're pretty much what it comes down to. Yeah, they don't need to be colorful all the time. Um, <laughs> just rare and it, desirable, basically, is what you want. You know. Yeah. But um, also, these really colorful ones are you know selling as as well. Just do your research. Make sure you know. Check those keywords: the date, the ounces. Whether it's a mug or a tumbler, Florida, all those keywords, make sure you find the exact one. Yeah. You'll know exactly what it's uh, going to sell for and uh, what you can get for it. But again, keep in mind the sort of terrible sell through rate on these things. So just keep in mind you're going to keep on. You're going to hold on to these oh. for a little while, some of them anyway. Yeah. But you're going to find those ones once in a while. They're going to be worth like $100, $200, $300, $400. Have a nice payday and uh, be happy about it. Yeah. So, um, anyways, thanks, guys, for spending time with us again tonight. Absolutely. And if you like this kind of content and us running around doing our thing, and um, please like and subscribe, we would love to have you join our family over here. We have all kinds of tips. We do all kinds of good stuff, right, babe? Yeah. So, my gosh, we got edited videos every tuesday where uh usually we're out at yard sales or thrifting or showing you something fun um, or doing some shipping or something so check those out we put a ton of time into uh, producing those for you so uh we love doing what we're doing guys we want to keep mm -hmm. on doing it thanks so much for your shares likes comments 
uh, support. Uh, tell your friends. Tell your mom. Tell your grandma. <laughs> come check out our channel. So, uh, yeah, guys, we really Thanks appreciate Thanks so it. much. We'll see you uh, Tuesday night, right? Yep, Tuesday night, next time. And uh, have a fantastic weekend. Thanks again, guys. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.